my face caught on fire. And I said to my friend, I said, uh, Dave, I'm on fire. And Dave, okay. I said, no, Dave, I'm on fire. Jay Leno is opening up in his first broadcast interview about the fateful day when a terrible fire from one of his antique cars caused severe burns to his face, chest, and hands. The 72-year-old comedian sat down for an interview with today's Hoda Kotb that aired on Wednesday. And he told the whole story about how it all went down. It was a 1907 uh, white steam car. So the fuel line was clogged. So I was underneath it trying to clog. And I said, uh, blow some air through the line. Let's see if we can clear. And then a line, and then boom. And suddenly, boom, I got a face full of gas. And then the pilot light jumped, and my face caught on fire. And I said to my friend, I said, uh, Dave, I'm on fire. And Dave, okay. I said, no, Dave, I'm on fire. Jay's friend, Dave Kalaki, also came into the interview to share his side of the story. I couldn't even see his face. He downplays it all, but I'm telling you, he was really engulfed. I couldn't see his face. It was on fire? This, it was a wall of fire. What was the first thing you did when you saw him engulfed in flames? I just grabbed him. He, he was just under the car. I grabbed him by the head, and I pulled his head into my chest. I thought it was a bad Tinder date. I go, what's going on here? <laughs> what are you doing? Let Dave okay. talk about how he saved you. OK, so you you kind of brought him into your chest. I did. Yeah. It started to smother the fire. Yeah. Then I put the car out. Yeah. And I told Jay, go into the bathroom, you know, put cold water on your cold face. Water. That's why I put the car out, put uh -huh. the fire out. Went into the bathroom to look at Jay, and I What'd said, you think? oh, it was. Like I say, he downplays that, but it was it was horrific. It was a scary thing. After the accident, the former Tonight Show host didn't exactly rush to get medical attention at a burn center, telling Hoda that he went home instead to make the situation easier for his wife, Mavis Leno. Yeah, I mean, I I drove my I, I drove home right after that. Wait, you you drove yourself home? Why did you decide to go home and stay home for that night? Well, because my wife doesn't drive anymore. And I didn't want her stuck and not knowing what was going on. It, 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 it just seemed like the right thing to do. And, it, and I think it was. So. so you loved your wife more than you worried about yourself? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that Was that it? Look it. Well, well, I think there's something to that. Jay would spend the next nine days at the Grossman Burn Center recovering from his accident. But the funny man said he never really thought about his appearance and how it would change. When you look like me, you don't really worry about what you look like. Uh, luckily, I'm, look, if I'm George Clooney, that's going to be a huge problem, you know. But uh, they said it would be all right. So I, you know, my attitude is I, I trust people who are the best to do what they do. So they had to fix your yeah, ear? Yeah, got, got, got the... Got is the, that a brand new ear? Well, no, no. It's just, uh, you know. A lot we of We saved it. all the original parts. So what did they do there? I guess they remolded it and did something. Apparently, this burns fairly. This is like, I think this is October. This is like the thinnest skin on the body so it burns pretty so that that like, had to be reconstructed it's like flash paper they fix that and then this whole part. yeah this whole thing here and they they put that netting thing on there and they, i guess the skin what, what about your hands and fingers well, you mobility uh, as or? you can see these these got burned pretty bad the stand-up concluded by laughing about what the inquirer had to say about his burns on their tabloid and he revealed to hoda that joking and laughing about the situation is what gets him through and actually, the most expensive part of the whole operation was the gasoline. That was, we're in California, it's seven bucks a gallon. So, jeez, <laughs> you're so bad. I can't believe this is an interview about your recovery and this is what it is. Well, the fact that I have smooth skin, pouty lips, and a tighter butt had nothing to do with the accident. <laughs> that, that was all secondary. You know, it's a funny thing. When, my first night on stage, they put up jail out. Uh, oh, we, we thought he'd be more burned up. What? People are disappointed you're not a briquette, you know? They're like, oh, oh. Well, the Inquirer had you pegged. Oh, yeah, here you go. Way. What did they say? Leno's fireball horror. Oh, look, at the, look at this. Brave TV legend is worse than you think. <laughs> it turned into a human torch. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, yeah. I mean, you have to laugh at it. It's, it's sort of, it, it is kind of funny. <laughs> Is this how you get through? Like, this is so remarkable to me. Yes, it is. But you know something? In the real world, this happens to people every single day. If you work with your hands, people work with their hands, get injured every single day. Yeah. And I don't want to be some whiny celebrity. Oh, boo, boo, who is me? I don't want to be one of these people. Oh, I have all these cars and this beautiful house. And, uh, and look what happened to me. People go, shut up.